The European currency's reaction to the European Central Bank's monetary policy decision was rather pronounced. The regulator lowered its key interest rates by 25 basis points. The rates are now set at 3.4% for main refinancing operations, 3.65% for margin loans and 3.25% for deposits. However, the main focus of market participants was a speech by ECB President Christine Lagarde. She signaled that another reduction is more likely in September. Against this background, traders added to bets that the ECB would need a bumper interest rate cut at the next meeting. Markets are now pricing in a 20% chance of a half-point rate reduction in September. The decision to cut rates was made on the back of the sharp slowdown in inflation and the need for measures to bolster economic growth in the region despite political risks, including a potential Trump presidential victory and tensions in the Middle East. This, in turn, exerted pressure on the euro, allowing the US dollar to extend gains. The greenback was also supported by RBIT data on U.S. retail sales, which climbed by 0.4% in September after gaining 0.1% in August. This pointed to the country's solid economic performance as well as balanced inflation and labor market conditions. Now let's take a look at today's macroeconomic calendar. It includes UK retail sales data for September. Economists are forecasting a decline of 0.4%. The euro area's current account statistics are also due out today. However, this report is of secondary importance and is unlikely to support the euro in early trade and help it overcome the pressure from yesterday's ECB policy decision. As for U.S. statistics, traders may take notice of building permits and housing starts data. If the figures are in line with consensus estimates, the market is unlikely to react to the news. In addition, Fed officials Raphael Bostic, Neil Kashkari and Christopher Waller are scheduled to speak today. They will most likely signal the need to maintain balance between inflation and labor market conditions. Restrained comments from policymakers are expected to boost demand for the greenback, put in further pressure on the euro and the British pound. From a technical perspective, the one-hour EU or USD chart shows that a false breakout at 1.0849 will generate a strong sell signal, tracking the euro down to 1.0813. If the price breaks through and tests this level from below, the volume of short positions will increase, with the European currency diving to 1.0783, 0.761 and even 0.738. At the level of 1.0761 and 0.738, I recommend going long on rebound. Long positions at 1.0813 and 0.783 can only be considered after a false breakout. In case of a MACD divergence after hitting a new one-week low, it would be wise to buy the euro in anticipation of the bullish correction. In a bull case scenario, if the price breaks through and consolidates above 0849, the euro is likely to strengthen, recovering yesterday's losses and approaching the 1.0882 level and probably 0915. At this mark, traders are advised to go short on the rebound in order to catch an intraday correction of 30.35 pips. Going short at 1.0882 and 0.849 will only be relevant on the false breakout. Speaking of the British currency, bulls managed to protect one-month lows yesterday. This paves the way for an abrupt correction to the 1.3031 mark. If the price breaks through and consolidates above this level on the back of positive UK retail sales data, a buy signal will be generated, with sterling rising to 1.3082. At this mark, I recommend opening short positions on a false breakout. Going short on the rebound can be considered at 1.3131, counting on a 35.40 pip move. In case of weak UK data, a false breakout at 1.3031 will generate a sell signal, putting the pound sterling down to 29.76. Its breakout will add to selling pressure and open the way to 1.2941 and 29.11.
At this level, it would be a wise decision to go long on a rebound, expecting an intraday correction of 25.30 pips. Going long at 1.2941 and 29.76 will only be relevant after a false breakout. Good luck to all. Have a great weekend.